be there. So uh, we have to put everything in, and uh, maybe uh, then I think with the quality we have, uh, I'm looking forward to this game. In terms of personally, you, you can be up against Karim Benzema, who seems to be having this incredible season. What are the challenges he presents uh, to you as a defender? The whole team is like uh, one of the greatest sides in Europe. Uh, he especially the form and the goals he scores is just amazing. But uh, we faced a lot of good players in the past, and we try to defend them as a team and play them as a team. So, what's the, um, what's the squad length from playing in so many finals? Obviously, this will be the third Champions League final. We've had a couple of domestic cup finals this season. Um, how's the team kind of learned to handle these big games? Uh, you get more experience and you know the situation, but uh, still, that's still a big game and still something new. And. Uh, you try to focus, you try to pre prepare it as a normal big game, even if it's not a normal game and a special game, but uh, everybody's looking forward. As a kid, you always want to play these kind of games, and now you're in the moment and you try to enjoy and try to do the best out of it. Yeah, does, does it help that there's only six days between the last game of the season and this final, as opposed to in Madrid when there was three weeks between the games? Yeah, it has its pros and cons, but um, yeah. We are ready, there's not a lot of time to prepare this game really, but uh, we are ready and uh, nobody needs the extra boost to play a Champions League final, so we will be there, prepared. Perfect. What did you make of uh, Real Madrid's comeback against City and Chelsea? They're quite extraordinary team, aren't yeah. they? It was amazing uh, to watch, and, but nevertheless, we are also a good team and we also can come back, hopefully we don't need to, but um, yeah, we know even if we score, they have always the quality to come back. We have, we have to have it in our head, not as a threat and nothing to be afraid of, but uh, just to be uh, prepared for. Your own season, has this been the best season of your career? you think you've played very well? Uh, I think it was injured wise <laughs> my best season for sure, because I think this helped if you get a little bit more rhythm into it and hopefully it will get even better. And you, had, I mean, you started re really well, you know, having been out last season with, with, with injury, was that kind of the that really kick started it, you got you off to a really good start? I had uh, a few injuries, uh, I always had to fight back and to come back, but uh, it's always nice to know that you can come back and give you the extra push to have then also a proper pre-season and all the stuff, I think that helped me quite good. This sort of really high defensive line you play, how, is, is it nerve-wracking with it when you play in the offside trip up on the halfway line? I like think that's part of our game. It's uh, We have to close the room to really attack in front, otherwise it would not work. And uh, I think uh, there's no perfect line. Everything has like uh, his pros and cons. And uh, but this is the best way for us, so we do it. And I think it worked quite good for us. This is the first midweek you've had off for a long time to, to prepare. Been games every two days. Has that helped to have both physically and mentally to after what happened last weekend to, to refresh ahead of such a big game? I think especially for the games, it's not too bad if you have a few days in between. But uh, mentally. We know what was coming last week, we just had to play our game and then we'll see, but uh, for the legs it's good, the head is always fresh for Champions League final, I think. You obviously have this partnership with Virgil, he's had the injury recently, is he 100% now? He looks at 100%, I saw him in the session and he looks completely good, so, uh, and the quality of him speaks for himself. And you picked yourselves up from Sunday, I mean that was such a disappointment to get so close, I mean the players had problems picking themselves up, was this final giving you something to focus on? Of course after the game nobody is happy, but we know we had a big thing to look forward to and there's no time to be unhappy. It's just to be focused and to prepare yourself to be ready for this great opportunity. Joel, just, um, I don't know if you're aware of the stat, but in six of the last seven games we've we'll conceded the first goal. As, as a, a defender yourself, does that make you more sort of, does that pose more of a challenge to the team because you've fallen behind so many times, or does that strengthen the resolve to sort of tighten things up and, and get moving in the attack? Hopefully, as a defender, I hope we don't concede a goal at all, but we know if you get a knock, uh, we can still do it, and it doesn't matter how the game will end, but uh, you can always come back. I think that's a great stance of us, uh, but still, I hope that we don't concede. So. Perfect. Thank you. Best of luck.